Update driver. Step 1. Go to search bar. Type dvmgmt.msc and press enter to open device manager. Step 2. Expand keyboards. Right-click your keyboard and pick update driver. Step 3. Hit search automatically for updated driver software. Step 4. Restart your computer once the update completes. Step 5. When the screen comes back on, test out your keyboard and see how things turn out. Note. You recently updated the driver of your keyboard? Then it's highly likely that the new driver is what messes up the operation of the keyboard and you must roll back the driver. Step 1. Go to search bar. Type devmgmt.msc and press enter to open device manager. Step 2. Expand keyboards. Right-click your keyboard and pick properties. Step 3. Go to the driver tab, hit rollback driver and follow on-screen instructions. Step 4. Restart your computer. Step 5. Determine whether the issue persists. If rollback driver is grayed out for some reason, you should uninstall and reinstall the driver. To do so, open Device Manager, right-click your keyboard in Keyboards, and pick Uninstall Device. Next, check the checkbox beside Delete the Driver Software for this device before hitting OK then restart your computer. Disconnect and reconnect the keyboard. Once it comes to addressing bugs that plague computer peripherals, disconnection and reconnection work well. If your keyboard is a wired model, all you have to do is to unplug and replug it. On the other hand, if you use a wireless keyboard, open Settings, go to Device, unpair the keyboard from the computer, then repair it. Turn off filter keys. Step 1. Go to Search Bar, type Control Panel, and hit Enter. Step 2. Change View by to Category, click Ease of Access, and pick Ease of Access Center. Step 3. Hit Make the Keyboard Easier to Use. Uncheck the checkbox next to Turn on Filter Keys. Select Apply and choose OK. Boot into Safe Mode. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open Settings, select Update and Security, then choose Recovery. Step 2. Hit Restart now under Advanced Startup. Step 3. In Choose an Options screen, go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, Restart. Step 4. Depending on the situation, you could press either 4, F4 to boot into safe mode or 5, F5 to boot into safe mode with networking. Step 5. Test out the keyboard. If the keyboard works as expected, feel free to conclude that interference from third-party software is the root of the trouble. To bring the peripheral back to normal, you should uninstall recently installed apps. Check out the hardware. If none of the above work, it's possible that components of your keyboard have sustained damages. To be sure, look for signs of damages on the hardware. In the case that your keyboard is indeed damaged, proceed to repair, replace it.